Hey parents, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got game-changing tips to help your child stay focused and succeed in school like never before. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that is crucial for your child's academic success, focus. Did you know that focus is a skill that can be developed like a muscle? That's right. Just like hitting the gym to build strength, we can help our kids strengthen their focus too. Now let us dive into the challenges our children face in the classroom when it comes to staying focused. From noisy classmates to distractions on their devices, there are plenty of hurdles that can derail their attention. These distractions can seriously impact on their ability to concentrate and absorb information effectively. Let me take this opportunity to mention but a few commonly known distractions. Number one, personal devices. Devices like cell phones, handheld games, school-issued laptops are some of the biggest classroom distractions. Students can be easily distracted by a notification or message, taking them away from the lesson and focusing on texting a friend back. This can be distracting for teachers as lack of eye contact from the students and the noises from these devices takes the teacher's attention away from what they are teaching. Number two, unnecessary talking. In any setting, unnecessary talking is a distraction to anyone, but this is especially distracting in the classroom. When students talk while the teacher is leading a lesson, their focus gets taken away from what they are teaching as well as distracts other students from being able to pay attention to the lesson. On the other hand, when students talk unnecessarily during times when the class needs to be quiet, it disrupts what students are doing and takes focus away from the task at hand. Number three, eating food or chewing gums. Students should typically not eat in the classroom. But if for whatever reason they do, it can be a huge distraction for many reasons. When students eat during class, it can bring unnecessary sound and smells into the room that can be unsettling for both students and teachers. Food comes with the risk of a mess and leftover trash. Cleaning up these messes or throwing away trash from food during class can be an added distraction from the lesson at hand. Number four, tardiness. Teachers always ask that students not to be tardy so that they don't miss out on the valuable material covered during class. However, unexpected things like traffic on the way to school, talking to a teacher after their prior class, or extracurricular activities can occur which can make students occasionally tardy. Not only does this cause students to miss material, but walking into the class late is a classroom distraction that interrupts the teacher's lesson and can cause students to engage and talk with the tardy student. Number five, YouTube. Although many teachers choose to use YouTube for educational purposes to enhance their lessons, students can easily see YouTube as a classroom distraction. Because YouTube allows users to see suggested videos that might not be related to their current video, when a teacher is done showing a video to the class, students might see other videos that take their interest and draw attention away from the lesson, causing them to talk to each other or go on YouTube on their devices. Number six, classroom activities. A great way to keep students engaged with a lesson is by incorporating different activities that enhance the lesson. Whether it is group activities for collaboration, worksheets or interactive games, in-class activities can help students understand the material more effectively. However, when doing these activities requires students to change seats, work in groups, or take out devices, unnecessary classroom distractions arise. Number seven, someone walking past the door. 
When kids with focus issues see movement out of the corner of their eye, it's hard for them to ignore it. Finding a space for your child to sit that is away from windows or out of traffic areas can help them stay focused on what they are doing. Number eight, their own thoughts. Kids with focus issues are not only distracted by the outside world, they are easily distracted by their own thoughts too and may often end up daydreaming. Checking in with kids to make sure that they understand what they are supposed to be doing and breaking tasks into shorter chunks can keep them focused on the task at hand. Playing music and using timers can help kids stay present. Some of the biggest classroom distractions are the ones that teachers don't anticipate ahead of time. It is important to be able to identify where these distractions can come from so that you can look for suitable solutions to eliminate these distractions from the classroom. But worry not, I've got practical tips for you to help your child improve their focus in school. Tip number one, create a designated study space free from distractions. Setting up a quiet and organized area can work wonders in boosting your child's concentration. Tip number two, establish a daily routine that includes study time. Encourage your child to stick to a schedule to make studying a regular part of their day. Consistency is key in developing study habits and enhancing focus. Tip number three, break down tasks into smaller chunks. By dividing their workload into manageable portions, your child can stay focused and motivated without feeling overwhelmed. Tip number four, encourage short breaks between study sessions. Taking brief intervals to recharge can prevent burnout and help maintain their attention span. And finally, tip number five, praise and reward their efforts. Positive reinforcement goes a long way in reinforcing good study habits and encouraging your child to stay focused. Now, let me share a success story with you. Tembani is a student who struggled with focusing in class. With the help of these strategies, Tembani not only improved his grades, but also became more engaged and attentive during lessons. It goes to show that with a little guidance and support, any child can enhance their focus and excel in school. In conclusion, remember to apply these tips consistently and be patient with your child's progress. Developing focus is a gradual process that requires time and effort, but the results are definitely worth it. Before we wrap up, I want to encourage you to try implementing these tips with your children and share your experiences in the comments below. Together we can support our kids in reaching their full potential and succeeding academically. If you like what you're hearing in this video, don't forget to like, comment and click on the subscribe button so that you get a notification when I release the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.